Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Great Hello. to be back with you guys this week. It's been such an active week for us. Mm -hmm. Thanks for those who have been responding, mm -hmm. reading, liking, sharing. Um, I just want to let you know if you have access to YouTube, mm -hmm. um, our YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash uppercase F. A I T H, the number five, uppercase F O M. So that's our YouTube channel. And we're so happy to be with you again this week. We are learning to grow in the spirit. Yes. And it is really fun. You know, every time you share something, mm -hmm. you're tested on it, believe it or not. So I want to just encourage you on that. Mm -hmm. So we've been talking about, last week we had a fish tank. Remember where yes. we had in front of a fish tank and we're talking about being in the spirit and mm -hmm. staying in the spirit so we can grow up and we want to continue because we're talking about in Luke chapter 9 where Jesus just before he was predicting his death he said if you want to be my followers you have to deny yourself mm -hmm. take up your cross mm -hmm. and follow me mm -hmm. is that easy no, it is not because you're denying yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we really want to grow in the spirit. So it's a spiritual discipline that we have to mm -hmm. encourage. Mm -hmm. So we're just talking about denying, taking up the cross. And so yeah. you want to just start well, up this. We're this talking morning. about denying yourself for a few moments because yourself is the first person that you identify with when you're born in this world. Your parents. Um, you, you identify with them, but you first of all connect who you are. Yeah, that's true. Recognize who you are. That's right. And so it's so important for us to understand that when we get born again, that if you're going to follow Christ yeah. and deny yourself, it's not simply just saying, well, I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to quarrel. That's I'm right. not going to drink or smoke. Of course. Those things don't deny yourself. <laughs> Those are only habits that we have, we have taken up in our lifetime. Okay, so you want to get into the real But your now. real self is, yeah. the thing, is the person that interacts with this world. Yes, sir. The person who responds to the challenges of this world. Yeah. The person who sees yourself in this world. Yes. And if you see yourself a certain way, yeah. when, you get, when you deny yourself, if deny the person that you have become okay. in this world. Okay. And so, if you don't like the person, it's easy to deny it. If you love the person that okay. you are, it is hard to deny it. That's true. You That's see what true. I mean? Yeah. Because if you're generous and kind and loving, you say, well, I'm just a Christian. I accept Christ as my Savior. Mm -hmm. But if you recognize that you are born in sin, mm -hmm. that we're all wretched, the best of us are wretched, the Bible calls it. But even when we're born again, absolutely. There's, certain, there's some of us that are not even born again, but we like ourselves. Yes. So why get born again? But, that's the challenge. Why now. get born again? You I cannot, don't need to. You can't cast out something that you love. Okay. All right. You can't deny something that you see no problem with. That's true. That is true. And that's why we ain't going to the cross because you are generous. You're going to cross because you recognize that I was born in sin. Yeah. I was shaped in iniquity. And the best human being on the planet mm -hmm. is still born in sin. Shaped in iniquity. Yeah. And has no place, no access to be in the presence of God. So therefore, this denying of myself mm -hmm. is, I'm born again. I've been walking with the Lord for a while. Um, there are things that I like to do. Um, there are places that I like to go. Mm -hmm. There are people that I like to be with. Mm -hmm. But I know as I'm reading the word and I'm praying, something is saying, you know what? I've got to shift some things here. That's right. I need to, there's something I'm going to have to do. I like that. I like that person. I like going to those places. Mm -hmm. But the word of God keeps telling me because of what I'm reading and I'm gleaning now in the spirit. Mm -hmm. My spirit man is now being fed and is growing mm -hmm. and is challenging my convictions. It's challenging the things that I like to do. That's right. So what do I do? That's I right. mean, yeah, I'm denying myself. So is that a cross that I'm going to have to deal with? Now, here's child. You say, but you're, you're denying yourself. Yeah. But the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit... One of his jobs is to lead you into the path of righteousness. Okay. And when to lead you there, it's going to guide you in places where yourself is not comfortable. All right. Yourself doesn't enjoy mm -hmm. relationships that, that, that rub you the wrong way. So I can't just get out of those relationships. Well, that's the challenge now. The only way out 
is to deny yourself. Really? Okay. Because if you leave that situation before the Spirit of God leads you out of it, okay. He's going to lead you back into another situation. Because His, his job is to keep helping you to deny yourself. So okay. more Christ will come. I really so, pray today for that. For so you. there are dying. Yes. You mean I'm dying quietly then? I'm dying in the quiet. No. And then I pick up my cross publicly. What? No, no, no. No, seriously, no. no. You because die. You die publicly. Really. But you pick up the cross quietly in your own prayer time. You pick up the cross. Okay. It's a personal choice you make inside your prayer closet, inside yes. your personal space. But in the public arena of life yes. with people is where you're going to have to die. Jesus didn't die in a quiet room. He died on a cross. Everybody saw him. In front of all of humanity, okay. all the angels, everything. Your personal cross okay. is going to be in the private, but your denial is going to be a public affair. Okay. I know we've got to wrap this up, yes, right? And I know you said you wanted to pray. But yes. the thing that I want to say right here mm -hmm. then is, mm -hmm. I die publicly so people around me will know that I am changing. Yes. Ah, That's okay. Right. Okay. Let and the pray. Christ in me will come out. Amen. I pray for those of us right now, wherever you are in your spiritual journey, yeah. and you feel that this situation is killing you, <laughs> or let it kill you. But the Christ in you will overcome every situation. Maybe the situation seems, I need to get out of it. But God says that I am bringing you through because I control the thermostat and I control the air conditioning. Yeah. I control the whole situation. Yeah. And I want to bring out of you me. Hallelujah. Thank but you. to get me out of that, yeah. the you in it have to go. Die. Yeah, okay. And so I really pray today that yeah. every one of us will stay the course of time. Mm -hmm. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Cast all your cares upon him. Deny yourself. And the spirit of the living God will bring you out of this a better person in Christ mm -hmm. that you can even imagine. When you come out of this, you may not even know yourself. But the <laughs> world will see the Christ in you. Amen. It is not nice, but it is good for us. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Keep growing. Keep growing. Keep growing. Keep growing. See you next week. Bye. Bye.